Hi everyone, my name is Tom Zobel and I am an RMM admin here at ProVal Tech and today I'm going to walk you through some common troubleshooting steps for the Control Center desktop client not working as expected. So we're going to walk through a few different scenarios and how I'd recommend going about solving them. So the first one that you might encounter is it's not accepting your credentials and that's not really the focus of this video but I do want to point out a couple of things. So if it's not taking your password or it's not taking multi-factor authentication you're going to want to either check with your administrator, double check your identity provider that you're using and this is going to vary based on how your setup works. You might have Automate LDAP integrated with your AD server, you might be using ConnectWise SSO, you might be using it with your own external identity provider so this is going to really come down to how you have it set up. The one thing that I want to point out is that if you are using ConnectWise SSO, you're going to want to check to see if ConnectWise SSO is having any issues. Historically, it has in the past where SSO is not processing login requests properly. So if you go open a web browser and go to status.connectwise.com, that'll bring you to the status page for all ConnectWise services, and you can check the SSO section specifically. Incidents are listed at the top, so it should be pretty clear if there is an issue there, but that's the one thing that I would uh, look for just to make sure that you are in the know and you can follow for when that gets resolved. The other common thing I see is you go to log in and it either loops you right back to the login screen after accepting your credentials, or it never actually loads, nothing opens period when you go to double click it. So in that instance there, the most common scenario is that the Automate server had an update and your desktop application needs to update to match the version of the server. And this happens if you are hosted by ConnectWise typically once a month. ConnectWise will automatically go in and update your server requiring you to update your desktop application. If you, if your organization hosts your own ConnectWise Automate server, then this is going to depend on your update cycle, but your technicians will need to update their desktop app when that happens. So your first step is always going to be right click, run as administrator, log in again, you're going to get a UAC prompt, go ahead and accept that, and then see if it works afterwards you're going to have to log in once more no matter what after the update successfully processes to log into the new version of the app and as long as that works you should be good to go if you are still having trouble accessing it afterwards and logging in getting it to get you all the way into the application your next step is going to be doing an uninstall and reinstall of the desktop client application so in this instance here, you'll go to Add Remove Programs. You're going to look for the entry called ConnectWise Automate Control Center and just double click it, uninstall it, and then you're going to grab a fresh installer from the web. And to do that, your process is basically going and opening a web browser, putting in your host URL for your ConnectWise server. And if you're not sure what that is, double click on your icon. It should be the URL that's listed right in the top above where you put your credentials in. Paste that into a browser, and it's very likely going to bring you to a screen that looks like this here. And then you'll click on Technician Logon, and then log in with your credentials. And then that should bring you to a screen that looks a little bit more like this here. And what you'll do is on the left hand pane, in the very bottom left, there's this configuration menu. You'll click that, click on installers, click on automate control center to download it. And then you're going to run that installer as an administrator. And then I would keep that handy just in case you're still having issues after, but that should fix most remaining issues that you might still be encountering. Um, if that is still not working, the last step that I would recommend trying before doing some deeper Windows troubleshooting would be clearing out some of the residual folders that will sometimes stick around even after you do a fresh uninstall, reinstall. So what I would recommend doing first is doing a full uninstall again of the Automate Control Center client from App, uh, App Remove Pro, or, excuse me, Add Remove Programs. And then you're going to look for this folder here, which is the C drive slash program data. So you're going to go to your OS drive. Program data is a hidden folder, so if it doesn't display here for you, you can just click in the address bar in here and type C slash program data slash manually, and it'll bring you into this folder. And then you're going to find this LabTech client and LabTech plugins folder. Lab Tech plugins might not exist for you, but you delete either of these, or excuse me, delete both of these and that should 
clear out your cache, it'll also clear out any saved passwords and credentials that you had for logging into the application, which won't affect anything on the server, but you will need to manually retype those in the first time you go to log back in. Um, so this is a little bit more destructive of a step, just be aware. And the other folder you should double check is C slash program files x86 and look for the lab tech client folder and delete that guy as well. And once those two folders are deleted, do a fresh install with the control center installer download that you grabbed earlier and then try it one more time. And that combination of steps should fix most issues. If you are still having issues beyond that, you may need to look into a little bit deeper troubleshooting, reload your operating system, which these days isn't too tall of a task. So hopefully these steps were able to help you. Um, thank you very much for watching. We post new videos every week to share our knowledge on ConnectWise Automate. Let us know what else you would like to see or if you have any questions and please leave your response in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.